So for this week, we will be working on problem solving and draw a picture. So for this activity, listen to each story, draw the circle to show the foods, write the number in each group and the number in all. Okay, so number one, Juanita buys two oranges at a fruit stand and three more at the supermarket. How many? oranges does she buy in all so she bought two oranges right at the fruit stand and she bought three more let's circle that let me trace right so how many oranges does she buy in all so and when they say asking us how many oranges does she buy in all so we count all of this one, two, three, four, five. So therefore she have five oranges in all. So make sure you trace all the number. Two plus three equals five. For number two, Brian eat six crackers. His baby brother eats two. How many crackers? Do the boy eat in all? So Brian eat six cracker. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? His baby brother eats two. One, two. How many crackers do the boys eat in all? So all of this together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight crackers. And then for this one is there is six plates of five red grapes and a plate of four green grapes. How many grapes in all? So we start off the plate of five red grapes. One, two, three, four. Five, right? Number five plus and four green grapes. One, two, three, four. Four green grapes, right? Equals all. Uh, how many grapes in all? So all together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine grapes in all. Next one, problem solving and draw a picture. So we have, the direction is asking us, listen to these problems and then draw the picture to solve the, um, write the number that tell, the, tell about the picture. So one, Julia has red, no, sorry, Julia has three red ball. One, two, three, three red ball. And two green ball. One, two, two green ball. Balls. How many balls does she have all together? So she has five. So one, two, three, four, five. So we can draw everything here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, for number two, Lu Lewis has four yellow ball. So Louis has four yellows, yellow balls. So one, two, three, four. Right. And two red balls. And and mean add two red ball. One, two. So how many do we have together now? So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Right. And okay, for number three is asking us Sean has five black balls. One, two, three, four, five. Five black balls. And one red balls. Equals to how many? 
One, two, three, four, five. Five plus one more. Six. So that's for that lesson. So for the next one. Stories about separating. Okay. So. Number one is. Listen to the number story and then count how many cubes are left on the mat. Then have them trace or write the number left. One, Jesse shows three cubes. She takes one away. So she takes ones away. So basically it's two minus one. Oh no, sorry. That's not it. Jessie had three cubes, and, and so she had two, three, and then she already took one away. How many cubes are left on the mat? So there's three, started with three cubes, and she take one away. That's equals two. She had two left. Okay. So number two is Alex shows five cubes so one two three four five five cubes he take two away one two how many cubes are left so they're asking you how many are left on these so one two three so five minus two equals three same go to they ask you how many are on the mat so, three. Jared shows eight cubes. He takes three away. How many cubes are left on the mat? So, how many are on the mat? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five are on the mat. Four. Caitlin shows five cubes. She takes one away. How many cubes are left on the mat? So how many cubes are on the mat? One, two, three, four. So four cubes are on the mat. Okay. So for this one, same thing that we did earlier. Katie sees six ducks. Three ducks fly away. How many ducks are left? So now we're going to count how many ducks right here are left. Right? One, two, three. So six minus three equals three. Right? Three fly away. So number two. Ted sees six frogs. So six frogs, one hop away. That one is gone. So how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, five. Right? Three. Lori sees six chipmunks. Two run away. Oh, they ran away. How many are left? And they're asking how many are left right here. So one, two, three, four. Four are left. Okay. For 8-2 is about stories about taking away. Okay. So you need to listen to each number story and count and trace the number that tells how many in all. Tra trace the X to show how many to take away and trace or write the number that tells how many are left. Okay, you see this? We're going to trace the X, okay? Number one, Jake shows four counter. There is total four. He take one away. So he take one away. Trace that. How many counter are left? So how many are left? So one, two, three, four, five, five. 
So it's 4 take away 1 is 3, right? 1, 2, 3. Or 2. Katie shows 5 counters. She takes away 2 counters. Right, take away 2. So we have 5. Take away 2 is 1, 2, 3. 3. Number 3. Carter shows 6 counters. He takes away two counters. So we have six. And we're taking away one, two. How many do we have left right here? One, two, three, four. Four. Oh, sorry. I was going too fast. So we have four. Same thing for this side. Okay. Eric C five geese fly. Up. Sorry, Eric sees five geese. Three geese fly away. Eric C five geese and three fly away. All right. And how many do we have left? One, two. We have two. So we start off how many? Number two is Eric C. Six chicks. One chick. One chick left. Eric C. Three ducklings. I'm oh, sorry. Eric C. Eight ducklings. Three swim away. How many ducklings are left? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ducklings. Take away three, right? Because they swim away. One, two, three. How many? Take away three. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. Five left. Okay. For this one, problem solving, act it out. Listen to each problem and solve it by acting it out with cubes. How many of them have them record the answer on the line? There is eight train cars on the track. You, sorry, there are eight train cars on the track. You take three cars off the track. Okay, so they basically for this one you need to have a counter. So. We'll grab your counter. It can be Legos, beans, or blocks. Uh, so I have some blocks here, but anything that you have at home. Okay. So it's for number one. We have eight train. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Have a train. You you take three off the track. So off. Sorry. Ah. One, two, three. Right? You take three away. How many cars are left on the train? Or the track? One, two, three, four, five. Five. So now you trace five. Number two, there are seven cars on the track. So we're going to put seven cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cars. Okay. And 
four cards pull off the track. So four, remove one, two, three, four. So how many are on the track? One, two, three. Three are on the track. Okay. For the next one. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> So for the next one, number three, there are six fire trucks on the station. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? See? There's six fire trucks and two fire trucks leaves. One, two, so it left. And how many? are left in, in the station. One, two, three, four. Four are left. Ah. This one. Listen as you Tell a problem about each picture. Tell them to solve each problem by acting it out with counters. Have the children write each answer. So act it out. Hmm. So for this one, I see. So for this one, you can use as many uh, as many number you like. For example. There is five birds in the birdhouse. There's five birds, so we're going to show them one, two, three, four, five. There's five birds, right? However, two left the house, the birdhouse. So one, two, two. Two left the birdhouse, two have to go, and how many birds are left in the house? So one, two, three. So for this assignment, you can be creative, choose whatever number that is related to the story, and have fun with it. So our last page is using minus signs. So for number one, For number one is very straightforward. It's like we have six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We start with six, but we have to take away three. One, two, three. How many do we have left? Three. But right now they're not focusing on asking how many do we have left. It's more focusing on the minuses. So we're going to start off asking the children, how many blocks do we have? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven blocks started off. How many were, are we taking away? So look at the X's. How many are we taking away? One, two, three, four, five. We're taking away five. So it's seven minus five. Same things as this. How many blocks do we start off with? One, two, three, four, five. Five minus how many are we taking away? One, two, three, four. We're taking away four. Same for this one. So how many bunnies do we start off with? One, two, three, four, five. We start off with five bunnies, right? And we're taking away how many? One, because one bunny got crossed out. Number two, how many raccoons do we start off with? One, two, three, four. 
taking away how many? One, two, three. So number three, how many squares do we start off with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven squirrel taking away how many? One, two. That's basically it for this week. And if you have any question regarding the homework or the assignment, please feel free to reach out to me and I'm, I will help assist you. Thank you.